Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let me try to fix the lighting. Okay, this is fine. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Luanda Nyembe, and I'm back with another video. If it's your first time here, hello, babe. Welcome to the channel. Please subscribe to join the happy family. Yo, guys, okay, it's fine. And if it's your second time, oh more darling, hi, welcome back. Thank you so much for sticking by. So today I'm just going to be having water. And we're just going to be doing this video. I know that it's been a long time. The last video I uploaded was about um Lin Gonjale. Um it was about but this was about me telling you what's happening in my life it was a catch-up video um i had recently lost my account miss nyembe of which i got back a couple of days after that video grateful to god for that so yeah i'm back and i'm hoping that i'm going to be consistent with everything but trust the lord and myself i'm going to be consistent so i posted the sticker on instagram whereby people got to ask me questions anonymously so i do not know <laughs> i don't know who sends me the questions i'm just going to be reading through i didn't get a lot lot of questions i'm just going to answer the ones that i got and that's gonna be it and i did mention on my instagram that if i'm not comfortable with responding to a certain question i am not going to be responding to it i'm painting in kumbu's a footy reminding you guys you could see so english is not my mother language i'm going to try my best to speak english consistently throughout the whole video and if i hope you are going to understand let's get right on into the video i'm i'm going to start a challenge now a corner one oh corner one not too bad on the first one that i received and then i go up so what is your worst habit my worst habit is um procrastinating i procrastinate a lot and i hate it i used to be a person who used to do things with cutting mailings and things so but ever since i moved to my new place yo i procrastinate i procrastinate on everything but at the end of the day i do it several last minute but i'm going to work on that i'm not proud of it and in jail also i ignore people a lot some even take it personal and it's nothing personal it's just that i sometimes want my space i respond mentally but no so i hate that i'm going to change that as from today in fact i don't know um, the next question is my name okay some of some of the things that they say they sent are not questions questions they were complimenting me so i'm just going to read everything get through with everything thank you so much and yes i have covid any show recommendations um okay me now i'm a person who likes watching different things and they are exactly the same like the same genre that i watch i watch romantic movies drama comedy never horror um sometimes action as long as they are good brutal cool so i would suggest uh okay blood and water um what's this going jay lindama princess ban 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 bridgerton um alexis and katie if i'm pronouncing it correctly there is a, a lot that i know but but if i do remember i'm going to write them down in the description box or i'm going to write them on my status hopefully you will go you are going to see that the next question is your worst correct your worst personality characteristics i think i've said this the fact that i procrastinate and i ignore people that is the only thing that i hate but if I have to do something about legging and pillar, like I have to get to work, I will not procrastinate that. Like if something is going to bring me money, honey, <laughs> I will not procrastinate that. Okay, how did you start a fitness journey to gain curves? Do you have a before and after pictures? Um, so I'm just going to add this randomly. Firstly, do you have a before and after pictures? Yes, I do. 
and ngikhulu manje iqini so naturally i'm curvy uNkulunkulu angipha ngalapho but gym did help to tone up everything so you know when you go to gym ukuthi umzimba wakhe aqoqeka your body nje it becomes toned so that's what gym helped me with it defined my curves my my curves even more so how did you start your fitness journey i started with using herbalife products they gave me a lot of energy they wanted me um, they made me want to have a better body, to have a more beautiful body than I did before. They made me want to change my lifestyle. So that's what motivated me to start my fitness journey. Um, are you ready to be in a relationship again? Honestly, I do not know. I feel like some things you don't know. Um, not only relationship wise, like you don't know, totally so corn. Sometimes you're like, okay, I'm not ready to be in a relationship. And then time goes on, oh my gosh, just big milling up and get in a good relationship. Or sometimes you get into a relationship and then you see, no man, I'm not ready. But honestly, I do not know. I'm not going to say I am ready to be in a relationship. I'm not going to say I'm not ready. In that department, in Jay, it's not the first thing on my mind right now. I just want to make. The best of my future so who is the best between amanda kings and lerato m um everyone in my life plays a different role um amanda plays a different role than lerato in my life lerato plays a different role than amanda in my life so I'm not going to say I, because I speak to Amanda or Ulerato a lot, this one is better. They are better in their own way because I'm friends with both of them for different reasons. They didn't come as a pack. I met Bonaboy two individually. So they are best in their own ways. Yeah, I think you pendulaga say how do you feel about people telling you that it's too early to date? I mean, like <laughs> not that anyone has said it to my face so it's too early for you to date um or it's too like you should have started dating uh i don't really care about what people say about my life i take decisions based on what i think is best for me if i decide that i don't want to date i'm not going to date if i decide that i want to date i am going to date just because it makes sense to me i live my life to fulfill me i'm not going to do what makes other people happy me no i'm just going to do what's best for me and the rest can sorry but yes and so i do what's best for me because some people will say date luyanda some people will say don't date luyanda hey nizobona nge bomje or nizobona nge bomje okay i want to give you props on how much you do to better yourself i watched a few of your youtube videos you are constantly correcting yourself with speaking zulu and wanting to speak english fully for us viewers who are not zulu you are genuinely amazing you are so young and wise beyond the age thank you so much as i said um, when the video started Duguti, i am not the best english speaker and i'm not embarrassed to say that because i mean, i am not embarrassed but not today i apologize for not being able to speak zulu properly so English does not charge with intelligence. I mean, no, so yeah, but thank you so much. I appreciate the compliments very much, and I am going to try to speak English all of the time just because I don't know who would see does everyone speak Zulu. Obviously, not everyone speaks Zulu, but um, English is the common language that you all speak, so I'm going to stick to English for those reasons. I want to accommodate everyone that's on my channel. Um, Sianuga is Katsi. Sianuga is Katsi. A city space across a Zara. I bought it. Ipunga Ali last. The Sunuga is Katsis Nan. If Esa could see last, please post it. Gifuna Ugubona Watenga Yipinchob. Okay, ma'am. Um, Sianuga is me for as long as I need to go to Snook. But also, if you like it and you feel like it's such a super punga, you can always have one spray in your bag so that you can abo spray it again lean you see punk but for me it does the work shame got a footy i must contest to go to um 
the, the the zara perfumes that i own are the only expensive perfumes i've ever bought in my life so other perfumes i was using they were cheaper than the zara ones so me and i'm happy with the ones because i don't have experience of other perfumes but i'm sure but this one does it for me for now but for now zara does it for me <laughs> okay um here to say you are so beautiful i swear i highly want to be your friend i love your growth and how smart you are thank you so much sweetheart sing your book ah. um i can't say i want to be your friend too because i don't know you maybe but i highly appreciate um the fact that you recognize my growth and i love the fact that you see that i'm smart of which i am <laughs> and yeah Okay, the next one says how are you feeling today i feel very good i just come i just came back from home so i'm rejuvenated i'm ready to tackle the world i was reminded so i'm good i'm good i wish i could meet you um on my best ungibone base so ungipa one hour in your life you are classy and you are so beautiful congratulations on completing your research work Thank you so much. Yabana research work, I did it in one day, but the referencing, the referencing child killed me. Not because it being, okay, but it's so annoying. It's really annoying. Especially when you tell a Google scholar, okay, I'm following another cool girl. Okay, going to English. Oof, child. Thank you. And hopefully one day we're going to meet each other. And thank you for the compliments next says be honest are you seeing someone or maybe flirting with someone um or are you still mourning your late fiance i hope it's not sensitive uh currently <laughs> hey yes i knew that i was going to get this question guys man like firstly mina when i'm happy when I'm in a relationship, I cannot hide it. As you saw, when I was hiding my late fiance, I posted to Guti, like sometimes I'd post to Guti, you're my man. I'd post the things he'd do for me. So right now, what do you see? Do you see anything that points out to Guti, I'm in a relationship? Guys, none look for clues. But like, do you see any clues? No. So, no. And I'm not responding in a bad way, but since I observe, do you no no i'm not um how true is it that you inherited money from your fiance yo i'm not going to get deep into this question i'm just going to respond no i did not inherit money i did not i can say it no i did not inherit anything um what was the best day so far this year when i slept in my apartment for the first time like you see what you worked so hard to save up money and now you are seeing Guti, how much hard work can put you like i was so grateful like in some zinwami I'm, I'm 21 years old and i feel like in some zinwami it feels amazing it motivated me i can literally achieve anything that i want in my life and to top it all off i got to decorate it the way i want it to like look look <laughs> but guys the 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 first day i slept here i woke up feeling very blessed i was so happy i was so content in fact this was the first time he genuinely happy this year when i slept here for the first time so i was grateful because i got to recognize what the hard work really does pay off because i worked hard i really worked hard to be here I don't like you coming to my dreams when I could just talk to you. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to say. What's your sign? I'm a Leo. Um, it's July this month. I mean, I'm plus 27 July. It's my birthday. Um, hey, do you have things that you did? might be at your past or currently doing that you regret but you still but still you had no choice but to do them because once we grow up we make bad decisions for the right reasons um yes 
Yes, I'm not a perfect person, but they are not extreme. They are just like things. But I'm not a perfect person. I do do things that I, I'm not supposed to do. For an example, when I came here today, I was supposed to cook, but I was very tired. I ordered to KFC knowing very well what I have to save because there's something that I want to do. I ordered to KFC. I had promised myself, Uti, no more going out, no more takeaways. I just have to be a responsible hun. But I bought KFC. That was very wrong of me. Not only is it affecting my body goals, it was also affecting my budget and my mood because I knew Uti, I was doing something that is wrong. But in Sutil, I feel like we should be able, we should train ourselves to be able to stop it when we are doing things that we're not supposed to do. Sometimes we should just not even think about it. If the thought comes, if the thought comes, just do something that is going to distract you for, from doing something that you're not supposed to do. For an example, when I was supposed to cook in Katsung Figala, when I thought about Ulon Tuzan, Upa Eats, I should have just made them a conflict cake Bamba for now, for the time when I was hungry instantly, and then cook as soon as I felt full. So I felt full, so yeah. You wild for what you did. I don't know what I did to my love. What keeps you going in life when you feel like giving up on everything? <sighs> the fact that I got to wake up on that day and Nkulunkulu gave me life, woke up with all my limbs waking, that means that he still have a purpose for me. He still have a plan with my life and the dreams that I wanted with my life before that day, they are still valid. I just have to snap out of it. Like sometimes we do feel like this but i'm going to make another video um that is going to touch on our feelings i'm um, feeling unproductive feeling like we want to give up um that sisterly advice i'm going to make a video on that sonje mama what keeps you going in life when you feel like giving up is everything let me just say one thing okay two things god and myself god is here for me whether i like it or not whether I am happy or I'm sad, he's always here. So that keeps me going. Secondly, myself. I will not sleep on myself. I want the best for myself. And the only way I'm going to get the best for this girl is if I work hard. So, Nji, I have to. Sometimes I do feel like I'm not doing anything to make sure that I get what I want. But that's life. I'm not always going to feel like I'm motivated. I'm not going to, I'm not always going to feel like everything is on track. But the fact that I'm able sometimes to recognize what's okay, Luanda, you're at a place where you need to stand up and take charge. That means that God has something in store for me. But okay, if I was sleeping on the bed the whole time, not doing anything about it, not even thinking that's what I'm doing is wrong, then that's where I know what's yeah. But as soon as you can see, Uguti, I'm not on the right track. You have something special coming for you. Do you trust the government? No, I don't trust the governments. I, I'm not even going to get deep into this because I'm not going But based on the things, based on the choices that are being made, I do not trust the government at all. I hope this video is not going to make me get in trouble. <laughs> Next question. Okay, this is the last one. Mina, I want to pay Ilo Bola and buy you a mansion in Camps Bay, but God don't give you one the same. Okay, guys, that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching i responded to everyone that sent me a question i was able to even respond to the questions that i thought i was not going to respond to but thank you so much for the participation please make sure to stick by like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and please share this video i will really appreciate it um the link okay also you can find me on instagram my name is miss nyembe Miss Nyembe, no underscore, no nothing. M I W -S, S N Y E M P E. Miss Nyembe, please go and follow me on Instagram for more content and to participate on some videos that I'll be pushing, putting a question tag just like this one. Um, I recently posted a picture that I love. Tomorrow I'm going to post a reel. Comment to you coming from YouTube if you saw this video. Okay, as in.
just so I can see you, you guys watched till the end. Just comment, you could see, I'm coming from you. No ma, Udanut has check all whites YouTube. No mut all whites YouTube, all whites YouTube. I'm going to know, Guti, you watched till the end. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time, my lives. Mwah.